emotional for me because uh, you all know, the people in the audience know, I love Glenmore Park. I spent a lot of time at Glenmore Park volunteering for events and used to camp. I sold my camper, but we were thinking about buying another one. And listening to the concerns of my friends, I'm concerned. And I'm concerned for a different reason because this morning at 3.30 when I got up thinking about this again, it hit me. If I don't have these fine folks right here and right here, when we had the Fiddler's Convention, I just lost 52 volunteers. Them, their extended family that helped me. It's hard enough to find one volunteer, much less try to replace these fine folks. What they do when we have the Fiddler's Convention, and that's just one of it, but that's the one that is lasting a couple of days. We pay for campers, but we don't pay for the people that season camp because they've already paid the park. So we don't pay for those folks. And what they do is volunteer their time, and I don't mean an hour or two. Uh, last year, Barry Beard was with me for three full days. Karen Moore works at VMI, and she's been the chairman for several many years, co-chairman years before that, and is there 24 hours a day for three or four days, along with her husband and family. Lynn Wells, they always, all those folks have helped. Calvin's helped. Mr. Montgomery has helped park campers. Jeanette's fed me food. Um, uh, the mayor and his wife have always been there, uh, supportive. Larry Tolley, you know with Beach Music Festival, we need volunteers. I hate to see us lose that kind of volunteers. We, we need 222 to run the Fiddler's Convention. And I just may have lost 52 people. And if we cannot have volunteers to run our events at Glenmarie Park, we can't have them. We can't function without them. And one of you, Melvin, you volunteer at the park, you see how many people that it takes to run, a, run events. So I hope that you will listen to these fine folks. This isn't all of them. There are several money, there's more families that stay the season at Glenmore Park, but you will take their comments and concerns and really take it to heart of what the city is going to lose. Thank you. Marvita, there's two campers sitting down here on Sycamore Avenue, both those are seasonal campers I know. What's the type thing on those, roughly? Well, it depends on what kind of camper it is. I mean, we have we have people that have campers that are, they bought for $500, and we've got people that have motorhomes that they probably paid $350,000, $400,000. One of them is a motorhome, one of them is a... And some of these folks may even take their motorhomes and campers out of the university and keep them out of here, and we're going to lose tax revenue off.